7 lakhs, 10 lakhs, how much are you planning to spend on your bathroom? Honestly speaking, it does not matter. All of that money will not matter if you miss out on certain must-have bathroom fittings as it is not the amount put in a bathroom that matters but the right bathroom fittings make it qualified to be a good bathroom. Now with that, let me bring to you the must-have bathroom fittings that cannot be skipped in your bathroom checklist. We can broadly classify bathroom fittings needed in two categories. One is sanitary wear and one is sanitary fittings. In sanitary wear, we require a wash basin which could either be a countertop or a counter sunk and the second sanitary wear required is a water closet which could be EWC, a single piece closet or a wall hung one. And in sanitary fittings, what we require is pillar tap, which is basically fixed on the wash basin. Then we either require a wall mixer or a diverter as per the provision in the bathroom. Then along with that, we require a hand shower and an overhead shower. In bathrooms, we definitely require a health faucet, which is used near the water closet for cleaning purposes and for health purposes. Flushing is also one of the most important aspects in a bathroom. We can either have a flush wall, which is a push button type, or we can have a flush tank which can be exposed or concealed. Along with this, we require a towel ring, a towel rod, tissue paper holder and a mirror. All these fittings are the must-haves in any bathroom. Things to consider while choosing bathroom fittings are number one, space availability. Space in a bathroom is the most important criteria for selecting your bathroom fittings. In case if my bathroom space is less, and I intend to put a bathtub, then it would be of no use. In fact, I would repent why I put the bathtub. And if we use a wall hung closet instead of a single piece suit or a floor mounted closet, that also saves a lot of space. And look wise also it is very good. And for cleaning purposes also the wall hung is always better. The ideal space for a bathroom is anywhere between 10 feet by 4 feet or 10 feet by 5 feet. But hey, we live in a practical world and we never get the ideal space. So how do we utilize the best space? In case if you want to use a bathtub, then the smallest size of the bathtub would be around two and a half feet by five and a half feet. And it goes up to three feet by six feet. Or you have larger bathtubs than this also. And in case if you want a shower cubicle, suitable place for a shower cubicle would be the corner of a bathroom. This way we save a lot of space. While choosing sanitary wear, we should be very careful. We should always see the size of the bathroom and then choose the sanitary wear. Because if you have a smaller bathroom and if you choose the sanitary wear, which is bulkier or looks bigger, then the bathroom will again not look good. So while choosing the sanitary wear, we can always go in for a wall hung instead of a single piece closet if it is a smaller size of bathroom. The wash basin, we can always go for the countertop wash basin that would also save a lot of space and it looks very very elegant. In taps for wash basins, we have tall body taps also which are available in only cold water and both in mixers also. The second important point is the layout of the bathroom. A layout of the bathroom can be broadly classified again in two categories. The first is the dry area and the second is the wet area. Dry area is the place where we generally have the wash basin and the water closet where maybe we would use it for urinals or for washing our hands. And wet area in a bathroom is the place where we actually take bath. And we can always have a shower cubicle or a partition to distinguish between both the areas. Ideally, it would be better if the water from the wet area doesn't enter the dry area. And whenever we enter the bathroom, we should always enter the dry area first. And then later on, the wet area should be there. In the wet area, generally, we can use wall mixers or single lever diverters. Or we can even use body jets and overhead showers. The third aspect is the overall look of the bathroom. Now, in case if I'm going for tiles which are darker in shade, then we can easily go for white color sanitary wear and chromium finish faucets. But now, sanitary wears and faucets are available in a wide variety of colors. It could be like gold, rose gold, antique, copper, and black, white, and many other various colors. We can always choose a combination of colors in the faucet and the sanitary ways also. So this also makes the bathroom look very good and appealing. Where can you find all these bathroom products? We at Jal have all these products with us, be it sanitary wear or sanitary fittings. In sanitary wear, we have wall hung closets, single piece suits, floor mounted closets, orissa pants, and we have a huge variety of wash basins also. Let it be countertop, counter sunk, or it could be tabletops or wall hung wash basins. And in sanitary fittings, we have uh, 33 different ranges which you could choose from which suits each and every budget. Aesthetically, it all looks very different and appealing. We have wall mixers, we have single lever diverters, we have flushing systems, we have a huge variety of overhead showers with multi flows like cascade, rain, mist, Bluetooth, yes, you could also listen to your songs while having bath. And 
a huge variety of hand showers also. Be even to provide shower cubicles which could separate your wet area and your dry area. Then we have bathtubs like jacuzzis, whirlpool systems, steam and sauna systems. Then we have shower panels. So these are the different types of fittings which are available at Jal. I have already shared the product catalog in the description. For more information and latest updates regarding bathroom fittings, kindly subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends also. Thank you.